Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about randomization in system Verilog. Randomization is a process of making something random. System Verilog randomization is a process of generating random values to a variable. Verilog has a keyword dollar $random for generating random integer values. This is good for randomizing the variables alone, but it is hard to use in case of class objects randomization. For easy randomization of class properties, system Verilog provides RAND keyword and randomize method. So basically, randomization is a method of generating random values. Basically, randomization is a process of generating random values. So Verilog has, in Verilog, we generate random values using the keyword $random, whereas system Verilog provides a method called randomize for generating random values. In order to generate a random value, the variable should be of type rand. So rand keyword is used to make a variable of random data type and using the method randomize, we will get random values. Random variables. The class variable which get random values on randomization are called random variables. In order to make variables as random variables, class variables need to be declared using the rand and randc type modifier keywords. So random variables are of two types. One is rand and other is randc. Randc stands for random cyclic. So if a variable is declared as rand or rand c, then only a random value for the variable is generated. So following type can be declared as rand or rand c. Singular variable of any integer data type, arrays, array size, object handles, etc. can be declared as rand and rand c. Rand keyword. Variables declared with rand keyword are standard random variables. Their values are uniformly distributed over their range. So here ADDR is of bit data type and it is declared as rand. So here ADDR is declared as rand. So ADDR is a 4 bit unsigned integer with a range of 0 to 15. On randomization, this, this variable shall be assigned any value in the range of 0 to 15. Since ADDR is of 4-bit data type, ADDR is of 4-bit. So it can be assigned any value starting from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. That is, it can be assigned a value of 0 to 15. So each value has equal probability. RANC keyword. RANC is random cyclic. For the variables declared with RANC keyword on randomization var variable, values don't repeat a random value until every possible value has been assigned. In case of RAND, values can be repeated. Values can be repeated. Whereas in case of RAND C, Values are not repeated. Values are not repeated until every value is covered. This is the difference between RAND and RANC. In case of RAND, values can be repeated, whereas in case of RANC, values are not repeated until every until every possible value has been assigned. Here, wr underscore rd is of bit data type and it is declared as randc. In order to randomize the object variables, the user need to call the randomize method. Let us see an example. Here we have defined a class called packet and we have two variables addr1 and addr2. addr1 is of rand type and addr2 is of ran c type ran and ran c and we are ending the class and in a module we are taking a module called ran underscore methods and within initial beginning block we are creating a handle for the class packet 
as pkt and we are creating object for this handle and we are repeating this block 10 times by using this keyword repeat of 10 begin pkt dot randomize we are calling the method randomize with the handle pkt so pkt dot randomize this method will randomize the variables which are declared as rand and randc so this method will randomize and assign the values for addr1 and addr2 this method only randomizes the values which are declared as rand or randc and we are displaying the values of addr1 addr2 let's see the output here the values random values are assigned to addr1 and addr2 we can see 6 4 2 6 1 3 7 6 4 2 here the values addr1 is declared as rand and addr2 is declared as randc so we have already seen that when a variable is declared as rand the values can be repeated so here the value of 6 is repeating like this and 4 is also repeating whereas addr2 is declared as randc let's see here addr2 equal to 4 3 0 6 7 5 1 2 7 up to here all the values of all the values are assigned like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so all the values are covered so after covering all the values only the repetition is occurring 7 is occurring again but in the case of addr1 values can be repeated so in rand values can be repeated whereas randc will first cover all the possible values then only it will repeat the values so this is the difference between rand and randc so thank you for watching this video